flown in all the way from Puerto Rico. It's Esteban from Don Q. Give him a round of applause. Good morning and thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. All right. My two volunteers, you guys got to get ready. Yeah, finish that up and we'll get you going. Do you drink much cocktails? Much in general. You've been drinking rum for 50. So I just asked him how long he's been drinking rum and he said 55 years. Uh, That's correct. I've been drinking rum 55 years. So you know your rum? I know a little bit of rum. It takes a lot to know a lot. De 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 definitely. So I you, learn you, every day. You never know the lot. Yes, absolutely. What do you think about it? I, 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 want... I like this one immensely. Okay, yeah. It's the one you can drink on its own without anything with it. You don't have to have anything with it, but it also makes a great cocktail. Uh, yeah. And again, it's a sipping rum on a cold day, and it could be a refreshing rum with cola or pop or whatever on your hot day. So it's very versatile, but it's very, very flavorful. There's nothing neutral about it. No, it's very nice. It, it, what do you think of flavor profile? What do you get? I, what I like about it is it's, it's not over sweet. It's nice to the palate. And it goes down very well. Very, very easy. He gets you in trouble. <laughs> he certainly that's what they, That's exactly what we want with our rum. <laughs> Good sort of trouble. Um, little flavor profile on that, some descriptors for it. Usually I get uh, a little bit of uh, caramel, a little bit of cream on the first palate. Towards middle palate, you get some tropical dry fruit, some orange zest, some, uh, some dry citrus. And then it finishes clean and dry. So there's not a lot of residual sugar in it. Now, a, a test that I like to perform, and I don't have the right rum for it, is if, whenever you want to know if a rum has uh, had sugar added to it or, or if there's remnant sugar in it, you put a little bit in your hands, you rub them together, give it a slap, and smell it. It should smell rummy, and it should be clean, but there should be no stickiness in your palms because the sugar will not evaporate. Alcohol will. So just a little tip for when you want to know how dry your rum really is. As he does that, I get you up on stage, yeah? Let's go do it, come on. Let's go make a daiquiri. Come on, let's go make a daiquiri. All righty, so I got the two of you up here and we got uh, Don Q daiquiris. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Cristal and again, how old is the Cristal, remember? One, two, three years of age. You remember? Huh? Okay. Cristal, you remember the age statement on oh, this yes, rum? Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Uh, 14. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> one to three. One to three. Yes, one to three years of age. Let's have you open that. Let's have you open that as well. And here we go. We're going to do little measurements here. Okay. I'm going to lead. You're going to go hold the so mic. We, yeah. Okay, so we go what? Go right ahead, pour it in there. Fill it up all the way to the top. And that's two ounces of Don Q Cristal. Have no, have no fear. Do it. Okay. Do it, do it, do it. Throw it in a big one. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Now, hold on, hold on. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> little, little, a little courage shot right there. Why didn't I get any courage? <laughs> he cheated. You know what he did? He dumped a little bit and he added more. So he's got double now. Uh huh. All right. Now we're gonna take. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Now we're gonna take the other side of our jigger. Okay. Here we go. The smaller side, the one ounce side, and we're gonna put lime juice, fresh squeeze and strain lime juice. Lime juice. Did you do it yourself? Yes, I did. With my bare hands today in the morning. Woo, not your knees. <laughs> oh, we got jokes today. Here we go. Right in there. And then we're gonna take a little bit of simple syrup and simple syrup is just uh, equal parts of sugar and water dissolved together. So we'll do, yeah, measure. yeah, same thing, same measure. Go right ahead. Very good. Good, while you guys do that, I'm gonna set myself up in the back to do uh, a little sampling for everyone because I think it's fair that everybody tries it, right? Yeah. All right. All right, now we're going to fill that up with ice. Ice, yeah. Yeah, let ice. me get the ice for you guys. Hold on. Thank you. Chewy! I'll get you. Chewy! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Roy. <laughs> what are you do? Sorry. Another shot for you. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, go on. All so right. you've got the ice in there. Good, here we go. Now I'm going to show you how it's done. One good tap. I think you know how to do this. Two hands. There we go. Look at that. I got professionals working Woo! with me today. This is fantastic. Up, there you go. And it should be ready. Let's see. I think they did a wonderful job. I really think they killed it. Yeah. They're going to take samples to family and friends first, and I'm going to make you a little batch of these daiquiri for all of you to try. Yeah? Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for um, our Puerto Rican friend from Don Q, Esteban. Let's hear it for him. He's going to hang around stage and make some daiquiris for you. And um, if you twist his arm enough, he might crack that bottle of uh, Grand Añejo. So. Oh, we are busy. Oh, we are busy. 